We will now consider nodal analysis with current controlled current sources. Here is a circuit and we have a current controlled current source K times I x connected between nodes 1 and 2 and this I x happens to be dependent on the current through R 2 3. Okay. So, first of all you realize that this current source appears in the equations for node 1 and node 2 because it is connected between nodes 1 and 2. So, if I write for node 1 the current is flowing away from the node I will have V 1 times G 1 1 through this resistor plus K times I x through the control source to be equal to I 1 the independent source injected into node 1. Similarly, for node 2 I have to take the currents flowing away from the node. So, I have the usual terms corresponding to resistors which are V 2 times G 2 2 plus G 2 3 minus V 3 times G 2 3 to be equal to 0 because there is no independent current source pumping current into this node and we also have this term K times I x and that is pushing into the node current flowing out of the node will be minus K times I x. Okay. And for node 3 nothing has changed it is the same equation that it always was. So, we will have minus V 2 G 2 3 plus V 3 times G 2 3 plus G 3 3 to be equal to I 3. So, we do have three equations, but we have this extra unknown here which is I x and the primary variables I would like to use in nodal analysis are the node voltages. This I x is defined to be the current through this resistor. So, it can be rewritten as I x is G 2 3 the conductance of corresponding to R 2 3 times V 2 minus V 3. Okay. So, in both of these I will replace this with minus K G 2 3 V 2 minus V 3 and here also I will have plus K G 2 3 V 2 minus V 3. I have three equations in the three unknowns the unknown node voltages and I can solve these to get the node voltages and after that everything else in the circuit. And you also see that this case is similar to that of a voltage control current source except that you have to go an extra step to eliminate the unknown current I x. As with the current controlled voltage source one complication I have not considered is when the controlling current instead of being here if it were through some voltage source you would not be able to do this you would not be able to write an equation like that because the current through a voltage source is determined by other things in the circuit not by the voltage source itself. To analyze that properly we have to consider auxiliary variables and that is done in what is known as modified nodal analysis, but we will not be considering that in this course. Okay. So, as far as this course is concerned when we have current controlled uh, sources we will be considering controlling currents to be only those through resistors okay, not through voltage sources. Okay. Now, this does not mean that such circuits cannot be analyzed they can of course be analyzed, but uh, we will not be dealing with them here. Okay.